New details revealing that one of the victims uh, of two victims involved in a machete attack in Dallas were alive apparently for two to three days before being found dead. CBS 11's J.D. Miles joining us live over at the Dallas Police Department with what we've learned about the suspect as well involved in this. J.D.? Doug, detectives here were able to obtain a confession from the son of one of the murder victims. That according to an arrest affidavit which revealed that a fit of anger led Chris Askew to kill his mother and another man with a machete. Police were called to the 2800 block of Frost Avenue on Sunday night around noon by a resident who complained about a suspicious car in front of their home. Inside the vehicle, police found the bodies of Randall Lynn and Judy Askew. Detectives went to their nearby townhome on Bear Street, where Askew's son, Chris, answered the door with a cut on his hand. He was questioned by detectives and admitted to the death deadly attack according to an arrest affidavit. The arrest affidavit says he later confessed to the assault and said that he killed them using a machete. He told police he was angry with Randall Lynn and also fatally cut his mother with the knife. He's been booked into the Dallas County Jail with a charge of capital murder. The arrest affidavit, of course, says this attack happened last Wednesday. It's unclear what happened during the three to four days before the bodies were found, but we do know that one of the victims was alive for most of that time without any apparent effort by the suspect to seek help. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you.